Hey guys, Splash here, and let's start on step one and get some first impressions in on this kit. And here is step one. First thing I noticed, I think there is a small sub-step missing there. I think there should be another screw that goes in there. And then over here to fit DC9, you're supposed to screw that on last. But I tried it first time through first, then that didn't work and I went back to do it the way the instructions stated and I just can't get it and I'll show you that here in a minute. So these pieces are nicely plated, nicely rendered. Um, I will tell you when I was doing the unboxing, I really have to question how expensive this kit is and is it worth it. Uh, here I am cutting off some of these plated parts and once I sand them and clean them up, it's going to take off some of the finish. Uh, you will notice some of your pieces are already been taken off the sprues and they're in the baggies and they have been plated and treated. So that's also very nice. Uh, but if you think you're missing parts, you're probably not. So you can see it was not cleaned up. It still has mold lines. It still has a sprue mark there. Um, so here's another piece. I cut it off the sprue. You can see the white underneath. And once I sand that smooth, it's going to take off more of the finish. So that's why I really debate on whether I should paint or not. This is my favorite glue. It is pretty, pretty good. Uh, it gives you enough working time, which is why I like it. I don't like the glues that the minute they bond, you know, as soon as they make contact and you can't readjust anything. But this glue lets you do it. Also comes in a gel form in a tube. So here we go. First step completed. Got that uh, glued together. We're on our way. Now this has a half crescent uh, shape on it, but it's not there, so I'm not getting a good fit. I don't think that's quite right, uh, so I don't know about that. Uh, but we'll glue this part back on. And now we will screw the larger part on, and this, is, this isn't so easy it's a little tricky uh, to get everything lined up and i do have some taps but i think they're too big for this kit i have not measured the screws so i'm not sure so i am not pre-tapping which does make things a little more difficult so here we go with the piece that did not have the half crescent so i really couldn't align it with the glue i waited till i was mounted to get it aligned properly so that should just snap in there now and even though we didn't have the proper alignment, it's gonna be okay. So here, this was where there was one screw, but it was missing the other one. I am going to skip putting in the other one for now, doing it just as the instructions say. It will be a problem later, and I will have to go back and fix that. So let's get started on the other side, and no matter how much I tried to get this part uh, these parts tight i just couldn't do it i uh, just could not get that screw in there and then you can see because i did it out of order i cannot get a screw in there to screw it to that plate and i will go back and do the reverse but it's not going to work very well either because it's kind of hard to screw in there from behind so let's go back here i am i'm using a b screw i think an a screw would work just fine um, hopefully i will have enough uh, B screws uh, that I won't be sorry later and let's just go ahead and get that tight in there now we're going back and putting this on third which was the right sequence although I can't screw in from behind there so I'm gonna try to tighten that as tight as I can I cannot get it flush so now when this piece goes on that I really don't know how I'm gonna screw on it's 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 fighting that uh, screw head so we'll just have to think about that and how we're gonna manage that one. So, okay, that was step one. We will continue next week. Thanks for watching.